Let's look at some other neat tricks we can do with complex numbers. Um, let's try to add a couple complex numbers. We'll add the real part with the real part, 3 plus 7. And then we'll add the imaginary part plus the imaginary part. So that'll be um, 2 minus 4i, or 2i minus 4i. And what that gets us is 10 plus uh, negative uh, 2i, negative 2i. And we'll clean that up and we'll write that as 10 minus 2i. Um, so there we have it. That is how you add two complex numbers. Let's try subtracting. Subtracting complex numbers is just like adding, except don't forget to distribute the minus sign. So this will be uh, 3 minus 4. Again, we'll combine the real parts. And then 2i minus negative 7i. So uh, I'm going to do like this. I'm going to say plus uh, 2i minus negative 7i. So 3 minus 4, that gets us negative 1 and then plus 2i minus a negative 7i is like plus 7i so that's 2i plus 7i and that gets us negative 1 plus 9i another thing we can do with complex numbers is we can multiply so I'm going to go back to one of my favorite examples, 3 and 2i, and we'll multiply times 4 minus 5i. Um, so we're going to FOIL. First times first, 3 times 4, that gets us 12. Uh, and then outer times outer, that's minus 15i. Inner times inner, plus 8i. And then last times last, minus 10 now here's the tricky part, i times i, that gets us i squared. Um, I'm going to go ahead and combine like terms, so I get 12 uh, minus 7i, negative 15 plus 8, and then um, minus 10, i squared is actually uh, negative 1, uh, if you recall from the previous um, examples. So let's go 12 minus 7i, negative 10 times negative 1, that's plus 10, and then that, that guy actually turns out to be real, so we combine it together with the 12. So that gets us 22 minus 7i. There you go. One last thing is we're going to try to divide um, a complex number by a complex number. In order to do this, we're actually going to multiply. When we multiply, uh, when we divide complex numbers, we actually multiply by something. And the thing that we multiply by is something that's known as the complex conjugate. Uh, by the way, the goal of dividing by a complex number is really to get rid of the imaginary number that's in the denominator. So the way that we're going to get rid of the imaginary number in the denominator is we're going to multiply this by the complex conjugate. The complex conjugate of a complex number is simply the same complex number with a different middle sign. So instead of 3 plus 4i, we'll write 3 minus 4i. That's the complex conjugate. Now, we multiply this times this to get rid of the imaginary number. But to make it legal, we're not allowed to just multiply this expression by this. So what we do is on top, we also multiply by 3 minus 4i. Now, if we multiply this on the bottom, we'll get rid of the imaginary number, and then we're stuck with whatever we get on the top. So let's, let's go for it. Let's try. First of all, um, pretend like there is parentheses around both top parts, um, and then think to yourself, um, FOIL, because that's what we're going to do.
So we'll foil the top and we'll foil the bottom. On top, 4 times 3, that gets us 12. Um, 4 times negative 4i, that's minus 16i. Uh, negative 5i times 3, negative 15i. And negative 5i times negative 4i, that's plus 20i squared. Ooh. And you might be um, thinking that we're going to do something with that i squared. You're right. Three to, on the bottom we'll distribute. Uh, we'll foil. Three times three, that's nine. Um, then we do minus twelve i plus three times four i plus twelve i, and then minus sixteen i squared. Now let's go ahead and I'm going to simplify the bottom part first because the bottom uh, has quite a bit of simplification that could be done. You'll notice that we can cancel the negative 12i plus 12i. That happens every single time. So we get 9. Here the i squared turns into negative 1 so it's minus 16 times negative 1 and um, that means that what we're really saying is is it's just 9 plus 16 which ultimately will be 25. Now let's go ahead and clean up the top 12 uh, minus this will be 31i and then again i squared is negative so we'll make that minus 20 so that gets us uh, negative 8 negative 20 plus 12 and then minus 31i so negative 8 minus 31i over 25 and then technically to write this as a complex number we'll make it into negative 8 over 25 that's the real part and then minus 31 over 25 that's the imaginary part and then we'll go ahead and we'll put the i right after it so that's how you divide by a complex number So let's say we wanted to solve an equation like x squared equals negative 24. Well, what we could do is we can take the square root of the left-hand side, square root of x squared, and the reason why we do that is because we want to get x all by itself, and square root of x squared gets us x, because it's the same as square root of x times x, and in the last videos we saw that we could break that up into just x. Um, square root of 3 times 3 was 3. So anyways, uh, let's go ahead and take a look at the If we want to take the square root on the left-hand side, we have to do the same thing to the right-hand side of the equation. So I'll take the negative 24, and I'll take the square root of it as well. I'm leaving a little bit of space here to put a plus or minus sign, because when I go to take the square root of, uh, when, when I'm solving for x, and I take a square root of a number, I will get a plus and a minus result even with that negative sign underneath the radical. So um, I'm going to break up the square root of negative 24 into square root of negative 1 times square root of 4 times square root of 6. By doing that I can then simplify and so I get x equals plus or minus um, square root of negative 1 that's uh, i square root of 4 that's 2 and square root of 6 cannot be simplified, so square root of 6. Now, I, I need to rearrange these things because they're not in the standard uh, order. Uh, normally what we do is we'll have the plus or minus first, and then the integer, 2, and then the i, and then the radical. This is sort of a standard convention for writing uh, imaginary numbers. The important thing here is, is that we started off with an equation, x squared equals negative 24, that we had no way to solve prior to today, and we did get a solution. In fact, we actually got two solutions, um, x equals 2i root 6, and a whole other solution, x equals negative 2i root 6. Now, I'm calling these solutions because if I took 2i root 6 and plugged it in here for x and, and squared it, I would get negative 24. 
And same with negative 2i squared root of 6. If I squared that, I would get negative 24.